Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra White Stone Dome Tempered Glass Installation. All right, every year you know we do the tutorial video. We like to step through it step by step so you can have a flawless installation. That's my job when I do these videos. Now, I've already taken the contents out of the box. They're all over here lined up one by one. So take your time, rewind this video. I'll try to go as slow as possible so you can get all the information in so you can have a great installation. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. Now, this is the box that you come with. Now, it is a two pack. So the good thing about Whitestone Dome is they give you doubles of everything. So if you mess up on the installation, you got extras, you can go over there and fix it. So let's go ahead and put this down to the bottom and the first thing that you want to do is go ahead and grab your s23 orchard now i'm already powered mine off that's the first thing i do you go ahead and power it off we will cut it back later on cut it back on later on during the installation so we can get our fingerprints and everything like that set up so the first thing what you want to do is you want to go ahead and grab your stickers all right to give you two pack of these black stickers these basically go all around the corners of your phone so no glue gets in any areas that that it shouldn't be. Now, I've already, I've already peeled the stickers off to kind of save time. So all you're gonna do is just gonna go ahead and grab your stickers like this, and you basically just wanna line it up. And just, it doesn't have to be super perfect. You just kinda wanna cover all of those holes and everything on the front side. So the front side is gonna be covered, top side at least. Then you're gonna wanna go along on the side and you wanna cover up your buttons, all right? And the good thing about this is be sure to not get too close to the edge because you really don't want the sticker to interfere with the installation process or anything like that. So cover the buttons up, your power button, your volume up and down button. Now, of course, the most important area is gonna be the bottom because of course we have a lot of ports. We have our S Pen. So let's go ahead and put it on the bottom here. Make sure everything is covered good. All right, you probably could take your S Pen out, might make it a little bit easier, but I don't know. You might not want no glue to get inside the S Pen holder and that'll cause a whole issue. Now, I know the other side, all right, I know the other side doesn't have any buttons, but guess what? You give it to me, I'm just gonna set it up here somewhere. And this is probably completely pointless, but guess what? If you gave it to me, I'm gonna use it. That's what I feel like when we're talking about these installations. So you're gonna wanna put it on this corner right there as well. What is it covering? The hell if I know, but it's there, all right? So that's gonna be your first step. Now, step number two. Step number two is gonna be to go ahead and grab your frame. This is gonna be your installation frame. This is gonna be what's make everything happen. Now, you're gonna have a few arrows. You see you have two arrows pointing in. You have two arrows pointing up. That's basically letting you know where everything needs to go. And actually, you need to turn it around right here because that's gonna be our little top jib right here, S23 Ultra. Make sure that's gonna be facing the right direction so you know you have the top and the bottom correct. It says S23 Ultra has dome on the left side. Now, you wanna go ahead and take these absorption pads. This is gonna slide right here in this area here, all right? So we're gonna grab it. Let's slide these absorption pads in here, all right? And they fit in here just fine. So you're basically gonna slide them in Make sure they are in there good. And it kind of has it propped up a little bit, but okay, here we go. Boom, slide it in there like that. Get the other one. Make sure it is slid in. We gotta kind of fumble with it a little bit to make sure it's all in there, but it will get in there and it will, it, it'll do just fine. So your, your absorption pads now installed inside your frame. Let's go ahead and move to the next step. Now the next step is gonna go ahead and to put the phone into the frame. Now before I do that, I do wanna clean my phone off a little bit, all right? So you're gonna take your, your, your wipes. They give you a, a few wipes in here, so you're gonna take one. And I've been handling my phone for a good little bit now without a screen protector on it, so I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a little dirty. So you're gonna do the first initial little wipe down. Now I tend to do a couple of these during the installation, but you're gonna have a do the first quick wipe down here. All right, put that over here to the side. And basically you wanna go ahead and grab your dry little cloth now that they provide, and you're basically gonna wipe it down. Make sure you get all the liquid off. Make sure you try to get all the dust and debris off. We got a dust sticker coming up next so we can get all of the dust and debris off. So looks like everything is pretty good. Next thing you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and grab your phone and push it in from the bottom and push it all the way into the frame so it is in there just like that. Now, one more time. Once again, the cleaning process takes a few times. You're gonna make sure everything is off of this device. You don't wanna know any dust particles anything anywhere all right so i like to just kind of give it a quick blow to blow the dust off and then you want to go ahead and grab your adhesive sticker and you're going to want to peel this off and basically look around to see if you see any type of dust anywhere all right so i'm kind of just looking around 
kind of one over in the, the protector to see if I see anything that's glaring. The thing about this screen protector is it's kind of forgiving when it does. If you have a little lint, once that liquid kind of goes up here, it tends to disappear. That's the thing I like about Whitestone Dome. You can kind of be a little bit forgiving when it comes to installing the screen protector. I feel like it doesn't have to be super perfect, but try to get it as perfect as you can. I know the dust thing, you know, it's kind of hard to do it depending on what type of environment that you're in. Now, next thing that we want to do is we're going to go ahead and put the sticker on top of the speaker grill. All right. So it's going to come with a little sticker right here. And basically what that does is going to go right over a very small speaker that's on the top. So basically we want to take this and it's going to go right over this little speaker right here. So it's just going to be a little cover. What I do is I take this little tab that it comes with and just kind of smooth it out right here just a little bit all right and that's just basically going to cover that top speaker up so you don't get any glue in your speaker because trust me these are expensive phones you don't want to damage them putting glue in the speakers now next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and install this little lego piece all right that's exact exactly what i call this so it's basically going to and here it is i call this little lego piece you're basically just gonna pop it in right here, and that's gonna be holding your screen protector on with this little flap that we just had right here. And then actually, let's go ahead and install the bridge. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put the bridge on, and that's gonna be able to hold your glue. Next thing up is we wanna go ahead and slide the flap in from the top. That's basically gonna hold our protector right there. And uh, actually, let's take the bridge off for a second. Let's take the bridge off until we actually get the glue up there and I can get the screen protector all paired up there together. Now, next thing, let's go ahead and get the glue. All right, actually, we do got to have the bridge up here. I'm tripping. Let's go ahead and get the glue. You always want to unscrew the colored cap first. All right, colored cap first. The black is going to come a little bit later, but you're always going to make sure to unscrew the colored cap first. And that's what's going to allow the glue to actually come out. So you're going to unscrew the color cap you're going to flip it upside down you're basically going to kind of screw it in here a little bit and also make sure this is trying to be as level as possible because you don't want the glue moving around when you release it to get on the actual phone itself you kind of want it very stable as even as possible i don't have a perfectly even desk and you guys will see once this glue starts to come out so we want to go ahead and once you have it in that frame you kind of want to go ahead and unscrew it kind of put a little force in it and the glue will start to release out on the actual phone itself. So you wanna sit here for about, I don't know, 30 seconds or so, just look at it. You're gonna have a little bit of glue drip out, but you wanna make sure all the glue is out of there before you proceed to the next, day, the, next, the next step. All right, so once you see that the glue is basically all out of the little vial, what I like to do is kinda of do it a, a little final tap to make sure that there's nothing there. Be careful removing it. You basically wanna remove this. I set this to the side. Now, here comes the fun part, all right? So basically what you wanna do is you wanna undo the screen protector. So go ahead and pull this protective layer off the screen protector. I always say, keep it, try to keep it as face down as possible because you don't wanna get anything on that screen protector when you're talking about dust or anything like that. And basically what you wanna do is you wanna set it down, all right? You wanna set it down here and you wanna set it right there on top and make sure everything is level. Set it on top of that flap, all right? So you basically, want to keep everything just like this. Now you're ready for the installation part of the glue. Now is when it's all about to go down. So basically what you want to do is grab the bottom. The bottom is going to be able to tilt. Once the phone tilts, the glue is going to go to the center of the screen. Once it gets to the center, you want to pull the tab and then let the glue do its thing. So let's go ahead and tilt it. As you see, the glue is starting to come down and you're going to see it start to adhere a little bit. Once it gets to that center mark right around there, you want to Grab this and kind of, boom, pull that out. Make sure that's kind of a, a smooth process. I almost kind of messed it up right there, but make sure, I like to do it kind of tilted so I can have a little bit more control, but make sure the screen protector doesn't move around when you try to pull that tab out. So we're gonna let it sit here for about a minute or so, probably longer than a minute. Make sure all of the glue gets everywhere that it needs to do. Then we'll come back for the next step. All right, so we finally back. The glue has all settled. Once again, don't worry about it. I know some of you might get a little nervous because if you feel like it's not reaching the bottom, even if you have to assist it a little bit, I tend to lift mine up just a tad bit because the bottom piece, I feel like takes the longest to fully get to the bottom. Now, next step is you want to go ahead and grab this. And I'm so glad Whitestone Dome actually added something of this nature 
to assist with the fingerprint scanner to work a little bit better when you have this screen protector on. So this is gonna be a little weighted piece of rubber. Basically what you wanna do is set this on the bottom for 30 seconds. And that's just basically gonna make sure that that area where the screen protector is around that fingerprint scanner is pressed in the most so the glue can kind of disperse around it so that fingerprint scanner can be a little bit more accurate. So we want to see here about 30 seconds or so and let it do its thing. All right, so your 30 seconds is up for the little rubber weight. So you're basically going to remove it. Be careful. Don't be really too reckless trying to remove it. Put it off to the side. Now, the next thing we do is we want to go ahead and start the curing process. And Whitestone Dome, thank you. Shout out to you for finally making this a USB-C port. It used to have micro USB for the longest, but we're a Type-C realm now. So thank you for using Type-C. So you're going to want to make sure you have a power source or something like that near i always keep a type c at my desk and as you can see here one press is for 15 seconds two presses is for 60 seconds so the way i like to do it is i like to do 15 for one the top middle bottom and then i like to do 60 top and bottom that's kind of the way i've always cured so you basically want to press it one time and you're going to just sit here and let us do this cure thing and we're going to go ahead and fast forward through this process you don't need to sit here and look at this All right, now, before we start doing the last cure, I think a lot of people missed this step right here. Now is when you wanna go ahead and take it out of the actual frame itself, all right? So basically what you wanna do is take that little Lego piece off, take this speaker, speaker, speaker piece off, <laughs> and you're gonna to wanna to press it very gently, all right? Just slowly press it, and you might have to press it in a few different areas, but you don't wanna to press too hard because it can kind of mess up your glue pattern and you kind of have to fool around with it to get it back straight. So next thing what you want to do is go ahead and do a final wipe down. And you really want to do a final wipe down is to get all of the excess glue off of the device. Now, which at doing this time, let's go ahead and take all of these little stickers off that we installed, which was the very first step. Be careful. Don't press the screen very hard, all right? Once again, this is still a fragile process. You don't want to want to press down on the screen or do anything that's going to jeopardize the way your screen protector is looking because if you follow me by now you should have a flawless looking a flawless looking screen protector so just be careful remove these plastic pieces sometimes you might have to pull a little bit hard because glue has now started to kind of work its way on them so it might be stuck up there a little bit but it's not terrible so go ahead and remove all of these pieces here all right as soon as i get it off my finger there and take this final glue wipe and now is where you want to wipe and you want to make sure you get the size good. You want to make sure you get all of any excess glue that's on the device just before you start that final cure. Because the last thing you want is to really lock it down with a good cure and realize that there's glue still on it. And you can get it off, but you just kind of want to clean it off beforehand so you don't really have to worry about that. So everything looks good. Let's go ahead and get ready for our final cure for the 60 seconds. All right, so now it's finally done. Everything is done. The curing process is good. And at this point, you should have a flawless. And I mean, if you followed me, we're not going to have any issues when it comes to a screen protector. I don't know about any of the videos out there, but one thing about me, I take my time. The video is a, lo a little long, but we have a perfectly installed screen protector. Now, what you want to do is want to go ahead and turn it on because there's a few things that we got to do before we get up out of this video. Then you're going to start enjoying your S23 Ultra screen protected because we know it's one of the best screens out there on the market. All right, so finally booted up now. One thing that you want to do is you want to go into your settings. All right, you want to go to display and you want to turn your touch sensitivity on. What, ba what that basically does is says increase the touch sensitivities, in <laughs> increase the touch sensitivity of the screen for use with the screen protector. So that's exactly what we want to do there. Next thing we want to go and do is go to our security and privacy. You want to go to biometrics. You want to go to fingerprints. Let me go ahead and type my pen in real fast. And now what you want to do is I tended to delete the old fingerprints. So I'll remove and I'll remove the fingerprints that I already had installed in there. And basically what I like to do is, is redo the fingerprints because you got a screen protector up here. It works a little bit better when you redo them. So let's go ahead and re-register our fingerprints real quick. All 
All right, so fingerprint has been added. Let's go ahead and test it out to ensure that it works just fine. And the fingerprint works just fine. My face is not being recognized. That's my right finger. Hitting it with the left thumb. Left thumb works just fine. Everything works amazingly well with the white stone dome tempered glass screen protector. So that's it. Sorry the video had to be so long, but I love to step through everything step by step so you can make sure you have a flawless, flawless installation. So if this video helped you out, make sure you hit the like button. Always come back for more full accessories because you know we're doing cases. We're doing everything when it comes to the S23 Ultra. All right, so make sure you hit that sub button, turn that bell on so you don't miss any of these videos, man. But until next time, y'all be safe. Catch you on the next one. Later.